everyone today we will see the full and para virtualization in cloud computing in our previous video we have seen the hypervisor and uh, virtualization technology and uh, in a hypervisor i have, i have told you that we have two type of the hypervisor either it is a full hypervisor and para uh, hypervisor or you can say hypervisor is used for the full virtualization and para virtualization what is the basic difference uh that we have seen over here let's say let's start uh, the that uh, what is the full virtualization friends if you have remember that what is the hypervisor hypervisor is you can say used to come uh, used as a intermediate or hypervisor is allows to communicate your guest operating system with your hardware or the host operating system that means in uh, cloud computing virtualization is uh, provided with the use of the hypervisor so it can be in two ways either uh, hypervisor is directly installed on the host operating system or that is on the host hardware let's say if you have a one computer so directly installed instead of installing a operating system directly you are installing the hypervisor so that one is one method and what is the another method this one is another method. that means if you have your system you are installing your own operating system and on that operating system you are installing the hypervisor so here if you see that means these are some different techniques let's say here if you see so here hypervisor is installed on the this hypervisor this one is installed on the host operating system second one now if you go for the previous one so this hypervisor that means this one is directly uh, installed on the uh, hardware that means there is no os over here so that one is a full virtualization technique or you can say this one is a technique of the virtualization that means your entire system or entire host uh, system in a cloud is virtualized and uh, that one is given uh, hardware is directly given access to the virtual machine so if you go in it if we will go in a detail so this type of full virtualization this type of technique is known as a type 1 or bare metal hypervisor uh, bare metal hypervisor this directly runs on host operating system host hardware so you have your system directly on your system we are running a hypervisor that means on your computer system instead of installing any operating system directly if you are installing the hypervisor then it comes in a category of the full virtualization and uh, after that you have a virtual machine that means from all over the world based on the public cloud or the private cloud you have created a different virtual machine and uh, and users are using that means this one is a virtual machine given to the user 1 this one is a virtual machine given to the user 2 same you can same in this way you can create a number of the virtual machine that means depends on your cap capacity you can create a many virtual machine and here let's say u n user n that means this one that means every virtual machine as uh, as per the uh, virtual machine is allocated to user as per their demand or uh, as as per their demand that one is allocated to different user so uh, so here uh, what is that means let's say here i have written stability is depends on the guest operating system what uh, this statement is uh, want to state that means they want to say that let's say suppose this operating system fails so the entire system restarts this will restart okay entire your host system there will be reboot or you can say you can say it's a restart or it this will be reboot and if this will be reboot that means your host 
system will be re reboot so compulsory user 2 will be re reboot the system of the user 2 will be restart and the system of the user and will be also will be restart that means stability of the that cloud environment or stability of the system is depends on the guest OS that means if any uh, guest OS has some problem and then that affects to the every user so that one is a you can say uh, drawback because this drawback of the full virtualization technique but here uh, part of the hardware is directly accessed by uh, every users or you can say every virtual machines that one is a lot means every virtual machine they can directly access the hardware now if you go for the para virtualization techniques here so uh, we have our system on our system what we are doing we are installing we are installing our host os let's say here you have installed the windows os and then we are installing the hypervisor and after that that means here uh, everything is same he, this one is virtual machine one virtual machine two and depends on a, a requirement you can create a many virtual machine this one let's say virtual machine n that means depends on your requirement you can create the number of the virtual machine and uh, in each in each and every virtual machine you have a guest operating system application and the uh, application and whatever the programs or the editors they want and it is known it is allocated to the user so what is good about this para virtualization it uh, is that a guest OS need to be modified here uh, see, stability is depends on the host OS let's say this system crash or this OS is crash or there is some problem in virtual machine one so only this will be this virtual machine one will be re reboot it will not affect the virtual machine two because everything is operated by the host OS now what is the another basic difference that uh, when you want to install the guest operating system into the full virtualization let's say here if you want to install it uh, uh, guest operating system so you does not need to modify your guest operating system directly you can install in your virtual machine too because you does not need to say that uh, they are in virtualized environment virtualized environment means they are not in actual environment directly because they are directly using the hardware so there is no need to specify that, uh, them that uh, you are sharing the resources with someone else or you can say uh, whatever the resources you are sharing that one is given by someone else means uh, user 2 can consider this virtual machine uh, can be considered as an actual computer and they are using their own part of the hardware and let's say something is wrong with the user 2 so everyone will be affected. Uh, hence uh, that stability is, uh, depends on the guest OS and even if there is a uh, if you want to install the some operating system so there is no need to modify over here but in case of the para virtualization you need to say that you need to modify your guest operating system and you need to tell them that you are in a virtualized environment and there is some another actual operating system that means there is some another host operating system based on the instruction of the host operating system you have to operate so you have to specify that means your guest operating system is need to be modified so here we have written that guest OS is aware about the virtualization and it needs to be modified and this one is known as a type 2 or hosted hypervisor okay and uh, i have considered the exam point with the exam point of view just i have written whatever i have told currently just i have written in a tabular ma manner so everything is the same uh, but uh, to write in the within the exam you can uh, use this tabular uh, or you can say table and you can provide the difference between full virtualization and para virtualization um, thank you. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubt, you can uh, ask in a comment section and uh, please uh, subscribe the channel so you will get the update with the next video. Thank you.